Hello and welcome. I'm Nefe42 and today I'll be showing you how to connect Alexa to Octoprint, which is pretty awesome actually. So first off, what you can see on screen right now is uh, the GitHub thing which I'm looking at at the moment. It's called Amazon Alexa and Octopi. I'll put a link to this in the, in the uh, description below and you, well, you basically need to follow what this page says but a couple of things have changed um, slash aren't the same as when this was first uh, created so I'll walk through um, step by step how to get things set up on this yeah so you need to go into this part here which is console.aws.amazon.com uh, with lambda uh, and then you need to be you need to be <laughs> in US East North Virginia um, I'm guessing that is <clears throat> even though I'm in the UK I had to change my entire Alexa over to America I put in like a some address for some company that I found in America in North Virginia <laughs> um, and then I also had to change the voiceover to American um, to get it to work in the way that I want this to work um, or partially in the way that I want it to work it does kind of work it's not perfect I'll tell you that um, it is it's okay though it'll, it'll do for now um, and yeah that's the main thing so if you click create a lambda function from here uh, you want to create a new function and then go to here and then only from if you're from North Virginia you can choose Alexa skills kit you go next uh, you can type in here on here it says that name it Alexa Octopi so if you name that Alexa Octopi uh, I need to mute my Alexa. Okay, now that I've muted Alexa, let's continue on, shall we? Uh, I'm just going to stick to my second screen so that I can see what I'm doing uh, at the same time. Um, it says, name the Lambda function Alexa Octopi. Now, obviously that already exists, so I'm just going to call it Alexa Octopi 1. Description doesn't matter. Runtime should be Node.js 6.10. Uh, it does just say on the settings node.js, so I'm guessing any of the nodes.js's can do. But I don't know about Edge, so don't even try that. <laughs> now, now for this part down here, you need to go to upload a zip file. Uh, before you do that, actually you can just click that and it'll just show up the little package thing here. Uh, let me just show you this from, from the start actually. Uh, so you go to source or SRC, uh, it'll say all the files here. Now these are all the files, but index.js is actually missing a few things from what I can tell anyway so you need to go to history and then click on the first one it says add files via script um, and what you can actually do is just copy and paste all of these into their own file names on maybe your desktop or something like that so if you copy uh, I don't know this one this whole script here and then call it index.js copy this whole script here and call it alexa skill.js and then this one has utterances and this one is intense uh, dot text um, you only need these two I believe uh, which is alexa skill.js and index.js once you have them two um, <laughs> uh, one thing you can do actually to make it a lot easier for you later on is to change this uh, octo key over to your octo key um, so that would be the, your octoprints API settings key and then here is your octopath for this you'd have to put your outward facing IP address so that it can connect to your printer at any point and uh, obviously using the octo key I suppose connect and find what it needs to find these two bits are, are required later on and not really necessary in this part but if you zip the Alexa skill and the index.js together you'll then be able to go and upload them here as a zip file um, and then go down index handler make sure that stays that, like that role needs to be lambda basic execution uh, I don't know if that was there originally but I'm pretty sure it uh, I'm pretty sure it is if not then you can create a custom role and I think it's the like the default kind of thing that pops into the thing that pops into the, the text box sorry so just do that. You don't need to touch tags or advanced settings, just click next. Okay, so after that function is actually made, you'll end up in 
hopefully something like this. Um, it will show you this script here. I don't know if this is like a big collection of all the different scripts. If what I did didn't work, then maybe um, you might have to take all the other files as well and add them to the zip file and re-upload it. Um, I'm not fully sure if that is uh, all of it. But as far as this is uh, concerned, once you've got this, it's pretty much done on this side of it for now. Uh, so you can go to save and test or whatever and it can kind of just like publish a version. You have this AIN up here, which is nice. Um, you can copy that and that is what we'll need in the next section. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Alexa console. So if you go to, if you Google um, Alexa developer portal, I can't with this part here. That is the one we want. Just sign in and you get to this part here. It says Alexa up here. You want to click Alexa and then Alexa skills kit. Get started. Okay, you get to this part, it says add a new skill. So you can click add a new skill here. Uh, you can choose the name. The name should be, uh, as the thing set is uh, set Octopi as the skill name. And then uh, you can type whatever you want in here as the invocation name, but I, I just called mine Octoprint. Uh, and from here, I can actually go into mine and show you the, the stuff that I've got. Um, so yeah. In here we have the invocation name. I just called it printer, um, in honesty. Uh, so I can say, um, Alexa, ask printer for status or something like that. And it will just tell me <laughs> in so many words exactly what the printer is doing. And that is kind of good and kind of cool, but also pretty freaking annoying at some times. <laughs> um, because also I, I did also have to change the voice to American and I think that I can fix that with this bit here. So I'll go to add a new language. We'll go to the language English UK and we'll see. Uh, yeah. We'll see if this actually allows the same thing to work. So Octo Pi. And then we'll call it Printer. Like that. Audio player, no. Video player, video app, sorry. No. Render template, no. Next. Let's see if this works. I don't know if it will be able to have the same name. Oh, it can. Okay. That's cool. So hopefully what this means is I can change Alexa's voice back to uh, British. Oh, that didn't come out right. British. And uh, we'll see how that goes. On here, if you go into speech assets on the, um, on the actual page, you can go into, sorry, on the GitHub. So if you go on here, you go to, from here, you go to speech assets and then you got intents and utterances and they're, they're both text files so in here it just says intent schema just literally copy and paste it all from there into there and then scroll down you got uh, utterances do the same for the utterances dot text um, yeah yeah there we go uh, and then click next I make it look very easy. I spent a long time last night trying to fix uh, and figure out all of this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a cool concept. It's a really cool concept. I don't know how useful it's actually going to be to me. It's most likely not going to be that useful whatsoever. You need to select this part here, which is AWS Lambda ARN. You go back to Lambda Management, and in here it's the ARN up there. You need to paste that into this little box here, and that will allow you to do your... Uh, wizardly gobbledygook with the printer which is cool um do you allow users to create an account or link to existing account with you no um click next you can test it here so you can say uh, um alexa ask printer status Alexa, ask printer status. Okay, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Type it down here. Enter utterances. Ask Octopi. It'll just read out to you all of this stuff. <laughs> so, <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. Oh, this might actually work in English now then. So I, I think I might have actually fixed that issue for me. Um, speech output, plain text, printer is not operational, printer is not operational, 
could end session. False. For some reason, it keeps it open as well. So it does ask, it does kind of insist that you give some kind of reply to it, uh, which is a bit strange. Um, printer is not operational. That is what that says. So I'll say Alexa, ask printer status, ask printer help. So if you put help, I think that's another command that they coded into this. You ask that and it'll say, this is my robo. You can request the status. Bloody hell. It'll say this. This is my robo. You can send commands such as start, stop, and request the status of your robo 3D printer. Now, obviously, we don't have a robo 3D printer. But it doesn't matter because it just does it to any printer that's connected and live at the time. So if you don't have a robo 3D printer, it'll be fine. If you do have a robo 3D printer, it might make more sense, but I mean, you can change this stuff and this uh, all this stuff in the files that you've been given anyway. Um, I reckon it won't be too hard to find <laughs> to find out um, how to change them. Uh, I mean, all the cr all the codes and scripts and stuff are all there, so I'm I'm gonna have a tinker about with it myself. I might create a new fork, I suppose, or, or whatever, just for for general 3D printer use uh, because this does work. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, actually. Um, so yeah, this I think this uh, app thing here is actually linked up to your thing. So after you've done that, it should actually connect you to it. So we'll go to alexa.amazon.co.uk. So yeah, if you click under your skills, all skills at the top here, OctoPi should be in there, hopefully. Um, and that will actually just show that you are actually developing an app for uh, Alexa, and it's got the dev US and stuff like that. So, hopefully, that is there. Sorry, I don't know that one. Oh God. Okay. Um. Yeah. And and if that is there, you'll be able to say, Alexa, ask printer status. Printer is not operational. And it will tell you what it's pretty much been told to tell you. So. Printer is not operational. Okay. So as you can tell, it's not perfect, but it does kind of work. So that's cool. Um. If you look in here, you can also see um, prototype event handlers on launch function. So what it kind of says on here to me, and I'm no expert in this again, obviously, um, if it returns something which is, it'll say this below here. So it says, this is my robo. This is my V3. You can send commands such as start, stop, and request the status of your of your v3 printer so uh, I don't know how how live that is and that is all for this time um, on the actual page where it's which is here it will tell you a couple of things that are maybe missing and a couple of things that aren't there oh actually yeah this part here as well um, so back where you go to here it will give you a code, which is this one here, this ID, Amazon ID. That needs to go in the actual code right at the top under code ID. I think it will just say like undefined or something at the moment. That needs to be filled in uh, for like s safety reasons, I think it is, or s safety, security, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, as long as that is filled in, your Alexa should be fairly safe from hackers trying to access your code. I don't know the full extent on how people can do these kind of things to your Alexa. I might even just take it, take this app down for my own security because a lot of people probably have just seen that I've got this and are potentially can hack into either my Alexa or that app or maybe do things to my printer or take the API key from the, the thing. I don't know how possible that is to do. But I will hopefully get some kind of way to hide that in the future uh, and stop anything from being any kind of risk to myself or my household or my neighbours. So, yeah, I'm not saying that if you do this, that is a bad thing as well. I'm just saying that, you know, that could be a risk on my side because I'm publicising what I'm doing and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Let me think from on Twitter. That's at Nathan42. And thanks for watching.